we who profess Jesus, we need to be living holy unto the Lord. The devil has so many doctrines of demons that he put out here. Men are believing deceptions and they think they write with God. You got this doctrine of easy believism that says just believe. They teach just all you can do is look to the finished work of Christ. There's nothing you can do, they say. And professing Christians I meet that believe in this doctrine, they glory in their sin. They always say, I am a sinner and I'm saved by grace. And they get really excited and they glory in their sin. And my friends, the Bible says that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. Whose God is their belly and their glory is their shame. They glory that they sin every moment, word, thought, and deed. That's what they glory in. They glory in their shame. And this is the doctrine of easy believism. This doctrine teaches that all you got to do is look to the finished work of Jesus, that He done it all. And what they are teaching, and this is the mechanics of their doctrine. This is why they live unholy. This is why they have filthy cuss words coming out their mouth and their heart is corrupted because they believe that God finished the work and they don't have to do anything. There's nothing that they can do. They don't have to live holy because Jesus lived holy. They don't have to live obedient to the Father because Jesus lived obedient to the Father. They don't have to deny themselves and pick up their cross because Jesus denied Himself and picked up His cross. It's an imitation salvation. It's a salvation that has no substance. The Bible says they profess to know God, but they deny Him in works. Being ab abominable, disobedient, disqualified, reprobate. They have corrupted hearts. They are living in the filth of sin and they say they believe and they glory in their shame. They glory that they sin every moment, word, thought, and deed. This is the doctrine of easy believism. The Bible says that narrow is the way that leads to life and only few find it. And that's the words of Jesus. The Lord is the one who taught that teaching. He said many go the broad way that leads to destruction. Only few find the way that leads to life. It's narrow. That means it's not easy. Jesus teaches against easy believism. Yet you have deceivers out here, wolves in sheep's clothing, and they bring in their false doctrine all over YouTube and so many people who love sin, who want to continue living on in disobedience and claim the blessings of heaven. They lay hold of these doctrines of demons and they believe that they write with God and there's no holiness of heart. There's no obedience to the Father. It's just belief. That's all it is. That doctrine is dragging many people to hell fire. They're not connected to the kingdom, my friend. They're not born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. You can't be filled with the Holy Ghost and live in an unholy life. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He's called the Holy Ghost. He's not going... To walk with someone who's living an unholy life. You got to come out the darkness. You got to depart from iniquity, the Bible says. The Bible says the grace of God comes to teach us. 
to deny ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. God's grace comes not to teach you to say, hey, it's okay if you live in sexual sin and keep being a habitual liar. It's okay if you live in drunkenness and be a drunkard. You saved by grace, just believe, just look to the finished work of Christ. Where is that teaching in the Bible? Because the Bible that I read says, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. That's what the Bible says. This is not talking about holiness in position. It's talking about holiness in character. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The grace of God, the real biblical grace comes to teach us to live holy, to deny ungodliness to worldly lusts, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. So if you believe a doctrine that allows you to cuss and you can just have any type of communication or conversation that you want to get into, that's not the real biblical grace that you have. If you say that you believe in Jesus and the doctrine that you believe allows you to be a drunkard, the doctrine you believe allows you to smoke cigarettes. The doctrine you believe allows you to practice fornication, sexual sin. That's not the biblical grace of the Bible. Real grace leads you out of the darkness. Real grace teaches you, hey, that's not right. Come out of that. I'm displeased with that type of life. Come out of that. And the grace of God is teaching you what's right in the eyes of God. Because God is coming for a holy church. God is coming for a church without spot or blemish. That's who's going to be in eternity with God. It's not those who just say, hey, I believe I'm looking to the finished work of Christ. Those who's going to be with God for eternity are those who have washed themselves with the washing of the water by the word of God. They have purified their hearts. First John 3, 3 says those who have this hope in him seeks to purify themselves just as he is pure. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So if we have the hope of salvation... We're not just living in the corruption of sin and saying, I believe, I look to the finished work of Christ. We are purifying ourselves just as our Lord is pure. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We following the example of God. We are pursuing holiness. The Bible says, pursue peace and holiness with all people for without which no one will see the Lord. That's what the Bible says. Men twist God's word to make it condone their wicked, sinful lives. And they deceive men. They twist God's word. They twist the writings of Paul. And they deceive men. God said, live holy. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.